I have enough means to do the Bible story. I got a lot of Bible stories, okay? But this is I got this one of the Bible stories. And this is titled God Makes the Wall. Let's begin. I got 12 minutes. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1 1. Genesis 1 2 tells the story of God's creation of the wall. On the first day, God created light in the darkness. On the second, he created the sky. Dry land and plants were created on the third day. On the fourth day, God created the sun, the moon, and the stars. Water and sky, animals were made on the fifth day. And on the sixth day, land, animals, and people were created. Many things have happened since the world was first created, including the entrance of sin into a perfect world. However, we can still enjoy the beauty of nature today and see the many wonders of God's creation and how they reflect His glory. Beauty of creation. God saw all that He had made and it was very good. And there was evening and there was morning, the sixth day, Genesis 131. The waves that crash across the sandy shoreline freeze their tower towards the sun, painting fluffy clouds that float in the sky. All these are part of God's creation. In Genesis, God called his creation good and gave Adam the task of working and caring for the earth. The earth is different now from how it was before suffering into the world when Adam and Eve committed the first sin. Dangers can now be found in nature. Natural disasters can destroy entire cities and ways of life. Animals can be harmful or even deadly if people are not aware of what's going on around them. People must face hardships and take risks in the natural world. However, this does not mean God's creation does not have purpose and value. The aspects of creation point towards the brokenness in the world that was created by sin and the need for Jesus. Seeing God in beauty and nature, he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet, quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Psalms 23, 2-3. When we look at nature, we can remember God who created. Nature can be as can be awe-inspiring even to the point of being almost incomprehensible. The richness of a sunset, the wrinkle of stars, and the diversity of animals all witness to a creator and designer. The details and immensity of nature show thoughtfulness and creativity. It is difficult to imagine how such interactions could have come to be without God. Respect for creator and creation. You are worthy, our Lord and God, who receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they will create it and have their being. Revelation 4.11 seeing, God seeing God's creation can invite us into a deeper admiration for God and His handiwork. In nature, surrounded by His creation, we may feel closer to Him. The beauty of creation is a reminder of God. When we respect any part of God's creation, be it nature or another human being, human being we are seeing value in what God created and admiring the Creator. Okay, y'all? So that's the Bible story in the Bible. God makes the world. Enjoy.